Hello everyone and welcome back to Screen Trends. In today's brand new video, we'll be talking about why Pawn Stars is losing all of its viewers. The first reason is the Pawn Stars are too repetitive. However, as with any channel undergoing network decay, the show deteriorated into the annoying arguing scene only in realms of reality TV shows. It became less about history and antiques and more about the family bickering. The old man complains about something, and Cory and Rick make some comment about his stubbornness and age, then Chumley does something idiotic to break the tension. Someone comes in with an item, an obligatory factoid is brought, and then it's back onto the Kardashian-esque drama between the guys. The episode then ends with Rick and perhaps Cory rolling their eyes at the old man's nostalgia, with Chumley in the background as the Pawn Star's perennial court jester. Other than one or two major transactions with various one-off segments, the show resembles just one of many equally foolish shows about which family members can say the stupidest statement before the next commercial break. The second reason is that the Pawn Stars are always below expectations. These are so many cool things in Pawn Stars such as big robots, expensive cars, and even weapons. The show has had many cool things on there and because of that many people think the next episodes are always going to be even better. But that's not always the case. People are always expecting something big and interesting on the show, but sometimes they're unable to reach their expectations and that's what causes most people not to watch the show anymore. Sometimes they call in experts to make items seem like something interesting and expensive, but comparing a watch to a weapon, some people might find a weapon more interesting rather than a really expensive watch. There is something else, the Pawn Stars don't even pay the experts to be on their show. This is just so unfair towards the experts, and this just makes it seem the show seem very fake and annoying. The third reason is that people think the show is staged. It's true, and many were interested at first, but as people learn the show is fake and uses actors and items that are from museums, they were set back. Also, real customers have widely reported that the main characters are usually not there and show up only when the show's been shot. For me, I'm interested to see old items and learn their history, but this show is an anticlimactic fest where almost none of the items are real or valuable or even rare, and using items from museums and private collections is just pathetic. People also don't like their attitudes and the show is overall sort of vaguely interesting, but its fakeness makes it difficult to watch. The fourth season is that the show kept being halted. With TV production halted for months, the Pawn Stars culture exalted trio of Rick Harrison, his son Corey Harrison, and Austin Chumley Russell have been called back to action at Gold and Silver Pawn. The show has been halted because of the whole situation the world is in with the lockdowns and quarantine. The TV show is still a hit, but business at Gold and Silver Pawn has shrunk from a peak of more than 4,000 per day to about 400. Harrison's Bar at Rick's Roland Smoke Barbecue and Tavern at the adjacent Pawn Plaza closed at midnight Friday, but Harrison, who sometimes tends bar at Roland Smoke, continues to press forward with Pawn Stars, which debuted in 2009 and has aired 577 shows entering the upcoming season, but the show is still slowly losing its viewers. The fifth reason that Pawn Stars don't even work in the store. This relates to the reasons mentioned before, and the world famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop is actually managed by Travis Benton, not Rick Harrison or the late. Rich Harrison, better known as the old man, but they do actually shoot the show in the store, only privately and with customers who sign releases and agree to be extras. This sometimes causes issues for Benton and the other sellers in the floor, but more on that in a minute. According to Starcasm, part of the reason the Pawn Stars crew isn't readily available to the public is due to Nevada's privacy laws specifically in regards to the fact that shop patrons would constantly be trying to take photos and videos of the reality stars which could violate the privacy of others in the shop by accidentally taking a shot at them. It made some viewers disappointed because the whole show is just a fraud. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, we really appreciate it and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment something nice, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!